Welcome to your latest purchase, the Active Medical Shower Trolley. We are sure you'll get many years of use of this product in your training facility. What we'd like to do for you is run over the functions and the features of this product to ensure they are used safely and to their full benefit. Firstly, we'll start with the casters. A 175mm caster with a specialised rubber coating to ensure they have good grip in a wet environment. Being a shower trolley, this will always be used in the wet area and this is quite critical. Then you'll notice the different colour caster tabs. We have the red tabs, which are the braking casters. Always ensure the staff apply more than two or more braking casters when using in a wet environment. And then we have the green tab, which is your directional caster. This is very good for manual handling and ensuring the staff are kept in a safe and good position when pushing the product. Being a large caster is giving us a lot of access underneath the shower trolley to ensure any lifters can pass underneath and safely place a resident or a patient in the trolley during a hoist transfer. We have our raise and lower pedals. If I raise the product up with ease, thanks to the fluid strut, I can raise any one of any weight up to 180 kilos. To lower the shower trolley, I simply step once on the lower tab, which is red, and lower the product down. Once again, under any weight, it will come down at that controlled slow speed to ensure everyone is safe and the patient or resident aren't at a risk of being injured or feeling insecure. Then we have our side rails. Currently they are up. To do a transfer in or out via a pat slide, we will need to lower them. We have a handle at either end of which I can lower the rail and it will clip underneath. Therefore, we can get as close as possible to the bed to do a safe pat slide transfer over. To bring it back into position, I simply raise it up and it clicks into place. Ensure it is fully locked before leaving that side of the patient or resident to go to the other side. We have a fully waterproof PVC vinyl cover. This allows the patient to be bathed with any of the detergents or soaps or shampoos that may be required and not have any effect on the liner whatsoever. In the event of it needing to be removed to be cleaned, they are held on both sides by two little clips which allow me to remove and take off. This can allow it to be cleaned and set out in the sun or in an open air place to freely dry. Simply clip it back on and ensure it is locked into place. The liners over time will compress. However, we have little vents everywhere on each section of the product which we can open and they will allow air to come back in and therefore it'll be a lot better cushioned and ensure the patient or resident has the comfort they require. We have a head pillow which is attached by two Velcro straps for their comfort which can be removed if not required or the length of the strap allows us to adjust it to the best position possible. What we can see here is the hose at the end, which is the difference between having a bath or having water freely running over our bodies. If our patient requires a soak in the shower trolley or a proper bath, ensure the hose is attached to the end rail and is sitting above the liner. In the event of needing a shower and water running over the body, we can take it down to the drain and lower the trolley down. We now have a few degree angle to ensure the water freely flows over them. To raise it back up, we simply take the handle and raise it back into a position and put the hose back in the correct position to transport it out of the room. Thank you very much for your attention as we've run through the functions and the features of the shower trolley. 